All right, let's get right into it. Trap chords. First, we're just gonna click in all the white notes. So we're gonna be working from C major. I have the scale going from C to C, so you have this eighth note here. If you wanted to, you could just erase that and you could copy and paste this down. Most trap chords are based off of the minor chord. I'll highlight the minor chord in C major for you. To make chords, you're just skipping every other note in the scale. You start right here on A, C, and E. Now if you wanted to, you could transpose this into any scale that you wanted to, and this is going to remain as your minor chord. So if you were to take all of this and shift it up, or shift it down, it's still going to be the minor, the minor chord. So you could use this exact pattern anywhere on the keyboard. This is going to be your minor chord. Now the idea is you want to keep A right where it's at, and you're going to be manipulating these two notes right here to make a multiple variation of chords that are going to fit well with, you, with any trap song. That's your minor chord. Now you're going to manipulate these top two notes and basically leave this bottom note alone. Okay, here I laid out all the different chords where we just manipulate the top two notes, moving them up or down one or two steps. Now this last chord, I put this here to tell you to avoid this one. It's going to sound a little funky with your trap songs. It's there for you not to do. <laughs> so let me just slide that over. All of these other ones are basically every combination of moving these top two notes up or down, maybe one or two steps within the scale. Now you'll notice that this bottom note stays exactly the same throughout this entire chord progression. This is what it sounds like if we were to move these up into the scale. Obviously we can't move this section up into the scale because it would be playing the same exact note. But these three, this is what it would sound like. Kind of just sounds like a mess. This one kind of sounds all right, but for trap, it's not going to work as well as just using these chords all together. If we were to move these down, you would basically have a major chord and they would just sound way too happy for trap. They sound triumphant and happy and glorious. That's not really what you want for trap. But this is exactly why I recommend people using harmonic minor. Harmonic minor is going to take this note and move it up one spot. And to show you what that looks like, in order to get that exact pattern off of C major, you're just going to go to A harmonic minor. And you'll notice this note is no longer highlighted. It's moved to this note instead. And all the other notes remain the same. Now this is what it sounds like. It has a dark, ominous, and dramatic feel to it, so it works really well interweaving harmonic minor within the original trap chords that I showed you. And you have plenty to choose from. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six different chords, that's a lot to choose from because you can always go back to reusing one of the chords within your chord progression. If this helped you with your trap chord progressions, definitely leave me a like or drop a comment down below. And subscribe and hit that notification bell for my upcoming videos. I'm dropping more chord progression techniques tomorrow. So hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.